Let's take a look at how we can mash up the responses from two different services using Apigee Edge. So what are we trying to do? User has access to address and would want latitude, longitude and elevation details. These information is available as part of two different services which the user has to manually invoke and finally comprehend the response. So instead of user having to go through this hassle, let's create a new service by wrapping them up and getting the user the desired response in the format he needs. Before you get started, you need access to Apigee Edge, so sign up for a developer account if you do not have one. And if you ever need any help, reach out to community.apigee.com. To ensure we are all on the same page, we will be leveraging the Apigee Edge management interface to create a new service interface by wrapping up the two different services we talked about. There are multiple ways to achieve this specific use case. So here's a blueprint of what we'll be doing. We'll create a new proxy endpoint out of Apigee Edge, which takes postcode and country information. We'll configure the elevation service as a target service. In between, we'll use a combination of different policies to talk to a geocoding service, get the latitude and longitude, and the elevation service all together stitched up using a JavaScript. To begin with, let's use the new API proxy wizard on the management interface. Provide the elevation service as the target endpoint. Give a name to our API proxy along with the base path. Once you build this out, this is what it's going to look like. This is the new API facade the user now has to invoke to get the desired response. To add the functionality in place, switch to the develop tab. We'll take a quick look at the policies that we have already added. First, we have the service callout policy where we are now invoking the geocoding service, passing in the address information, storing the response in a local variable. Next, we are using the extract variable policy to get the latitude and longitude information from the geocoding response variable that we had stored. Next, we are cleaning up the incoming requests by removing the address information and replacing that with latitude and longitude that we got in the previous policy. Once the request hits the elevation service and the response comes back, we are using an extract variable to get the elevation details into a local variable. Finally, in this final response.js, which is a JavaScript policy, we are combining all of the information that we now have to create this new response in the way we want before sending it out. Without this in place, if the user had invoked the geocoding service, the response would look something like this. Next, if you had to invoke the elevation service, this is what a sample response would look like. Instead of that, this is the new service interface that we created for the elevation service and the geocoding service, when invoked, provides the information in a simple, clean format the user can now directly use. To summarize, this is what we created as the new service API interface from Apigee, which in internally call the geocoding service, the elevation service, stitched all the response up using the JavaScript. So if you have any questions, reach out to us on community.apigee.com. Thank you very much.